Hello, Jair. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. My question is, Luis, how productive was the last season for you? What did you, how beneficial was it? What did you learn from the last season? Uh, the season was super beneficial for me, you know, um, I obviously didn't do as much as I, I wanted to do, but I learned a lot, you know, I learned how to drive at better angles, you know, I learned how to finish through contact, um, you know, I learned, I necessarily get everything I wanted, you know, I got everything I needed, you know, um, I learned how to make reads off the pick and rolls, you know, I learned how to stunt in the gaps defensively, you know, just be aware at all times. So um, I definitely learned a lot. You know, I matured as a young man individually with, you know, with my some of the losses I had personally um, throughout the season. And it only made me stronger. So I know God has a plan for me and a lot of good things in store. I'm just trusting him and trusting the process. And next season, what is your main expectation? What would you like to bring on the court? Uh, like when I come in, you know, I just want to make an impact. You know, I just want to be the best version of myself as possible. You know, I'm going to come in with a, a learning mentality. You know, every rookie has um, things they need to learn, things they want to learn from uh, throughout their mistakes and stuff. So for me, it would just to be about soaking in as much knowledge from the vets, from the coaching staff, the front office. Um, just learning, you know, the, uh, the rookie season is kind of like your place to learn about more about yourself, about the NBA itself, you know. So I'm just coming in with open arms, just, um, you know, just wanting to learn from the best and um, just be developed, honestly. And I I think I'll be able to come in and have an impact um, right away to whatever team drops me. Thank you very much. Good luck. Yes, thank you. You too. Garcia. Hello, can you hear me? So it's super important. And um, hello, hello. I feel yes, like hello. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm getting some feedback right now, so I don't know if you can hear oh, me. Oh, okay. No, you're good. Okay, uh, Zaire, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, first of all, I mean, I, I know you, you know, probably not paying attention to mock drafts, you know, or maybe you have, but some mocks have you falling like around where the San Antonio Spurs could uh, possibly select you. Your thoughts on the possibility of uh, the Spurs picking you? You know, that'll be super dope for sure. You know, Greg, uh, Coach Pop, he's a, he's the OG. You know, he's a a hell of a coach, you know, his resume speaks for itself. So, I mean, that'll be an honor, but, you know, more importantly for me, I just want to go to a team that's the right fit for me, a team that's going to believe in me and that's going to be able to uh, take me to the, to the player that I believe that I could eventually become. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Next, we have Ricardo. Thank you for your time. Uh, Ricardo Fazzesi, Prepare Sport Italy. Uh, why an uh, NBA team should draft you about your skill set on and uh, off the court? I'm sorry. I heard the first part about yeah, this. Why, why an NBA team should select you on and off the court. Uh, what, is, uh, what are your strengths? For sure. So, you know, um, definitely I feel like my versatility is, you know, it's a God-given talent that can't be taught. You know, I'm almost 6'10", uh, we know, super athletic, fast, um, you know, can handle the ball like a guard. So, you know, for me, I just feel like I bring the versatility on both ends of the floor. You know, I feel like a guard positions one through three, one through four. Um, and I could just, you know, be a threat on the perimeter, on the inside, just, you know, cutting just off the ball, whatever it is, the the, the team that I'll be drafted to um, thinks I'm best on the floor. You know, for me, I just love the game and I love to play. So I'm gonna always play with a competitive edge and just try to do whatever I can to help my team win. Thank you. Sure I wasn't rushing. But overall, I'm very excited about the confidence that I had myself. Ricardo. Azire, James Hand, T Sports Bay. Hey, what's up, James? How are you? Good, man. Uh, have you spoken with the Warriors or Kings? I just met with the Warriors for the first time. That was literally my last interview I had before this. 
Cool. And so you just uh, you just talked about measuring in at six ten. Um, when did you grow? Because it's something that uh, was a bit of a surprise when we saw the measurements <laughs> measured in so big. Uh, you know me, I'm just super young. You know, my body is still maturing; it's still developing. You know, I might have another inch or two in me. You know, um, I've. I probably grew sometime in between oh. the middle of the season or after the season. I don't know. I've been sleeping a lot lately. Uh, maybe that's why. Uh, but, you know, I, I know I have so much more from just my body alone, uh, let alone all the skills and ball handling and all that other stuff. You know, I just feel like my body has so much room for improvement, room for development. And it's uh, it's exciting, you know, how far I've come and yet how much more I still have to accomplish. So I'm just sticking with the plan every day, just training hard and taking it day by day and controlling what I can. Is there something at the college level that you weren't able to show that uh, you think that you'll be better fit for in the, in the pro game? Oh, absolutely. A lot, you know, um, you know, post work, uh, you know, I feel like I could catch quick isos at the elbow, you know, attack really fast, um, you know, quick isolations, um, you know, coming off screens for shots. There was a, a lot that, um, you know, I didn't get to showcase, but, you know, that's that's okay because it's going to, when I go to the next level, it's going to be so many things I've been practicing on that teams didn't know I had in store. So it's all good. I just want to ask you, I mean, last summer you were in the gym with guys like Kyrie Salbert and Josh Green, who, you know, Ty was one of the top three uh, rookie of the years, and you were going head to head. If we wait, wait, what last number summer. is that? How, many, how much how many confidence does that give you heading into this draft process I'm for you knowing that you can play and go head to head? Uh, a big it's it's um it's awesome you know i talk to tyrese all the time you know he always tells me man like how much how good i'm gonna do when i go in he, he's telling me all the ins and outs things to look out for you know uh walls he ran into when he was a rookie so um you know it's definitely good to have guys who are a little older than you and who've been through this stuff to kind of ask questions and, and seek advice too for sure but you know tyrese he's a Hell of a player, man. Honestly, so many teams passed up on him, and uh, they definitely regret it, you know. And he's proven, like, shoot, you see how skinny Tyrese is, and, you know, a lot of people say his shot mechanics are off, but, you know, he makes it work for him. So um, all credit to Tyrese, man. That's that's my guy for sure, um, and I'm super excited for it, for what the future has in store for him. I mean, Zaire, you're not – you're you're you've been said – you've been told that you're skinny too. Do you feel like there are people sleeping on you in this draft? Absolutely, for sure. But you know, that's that's kind of that's how it's going to be. Five years into the league, ten years, whatever. You know, there's always going to be doubters. There's always going to be critics. You know, so I'm kind of just tooting that out, just knowing that I'm just going to keep working and strive to be the best version of myself as possible, and um, you know, just be the best player I can. I feel like I'm, I have the capabilities and the God-given talents to be a special player in the league, and um, you know, I'm just sticking with it day by day. Thanks, Ayer. Thank you. He said he's going to be that one more time. Okay, we're going to be down for a little sweet there, Brian. I should be up. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Two flashes of the struggle of Jordan Clarkson with this year. Um, am, am I speaking? Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, hi, Zaire. Uh, I'm going to follow up on uh, something you said. And, and, uh, I have another quick question. Uh, you said that a lot of people, because of the interruptions and the, the crazy uh, season you had this year with personal loss and so forth, that, that there were certain things that you're going to show in the pros that people are going to be surprised about. What, what are those things? Um, what are, what did we not see at Stanford that that were what, that's coming? Yeah, so um, like I said before, I would definitely want to show some of my post work. You know, a lot of times uh, people would throw smaller guards on me to try to disrupt and get in my space. So just putting them in the post really quick, making a quick move, hook or fade, whatever the case may be, whatever, however I read it. Um, I've been working on that stuff a lot, you know. 
um, you know, just working on shooting a lot, you know, um, really just all aspects of my game, you know, quick ISO at the elbow, you know, the wing, the top. I honestly feel like I could be a threat anywhere on the court. So um, I've just been just working every day, two, three times a day, and um, just sticking with the process, man. It's been fun. And the other piece I wanted to ask, and I apologize if you were asked this before, but uh, and I'll, I'll make it quick. How, how many teams have you either talked to or worked out for so far? I've not done any workouts so far, uh, but I've talked to about 10 teams since I've been here. Okay, great. Thank you so much, and, and I wish you the best. Yes, thank you, Richard. I appreciate you. All right, take care. Have a good one. I'll see you guys. See you, Chris. See you now. Hey, Zaire. Thanks for doing this once again. Yes, of course. No worries. So playing in the, the Pac-12 had a huge NCAA tournament this year. Um, how do you think playing in a, such a good conference like that is going to help you at the next level? Oh, man. Substantially, you know, big time. I learned so much defensively guarding, you know, great guards like McKinley Wright and, you know, um, Ethan Thompson, you know, um, a lot of the Pac-12, man, it was loaded from top to bottom this year. Um, you know, it was a great experience uh, for sure. And um, like I said, I've learned so much through the good stuff I did and through the bad stuff, you know. Um, a lot of a lot of times I look at losses as more as lessons, you know. So um, I'm excited for what the future has in store for all of the guys coming out of the Pac-12. Honestly, it's some great talent coming out for sure. Hi, hi, Zaire. Uh, I don't know if this has been asked because I, I just jumped a little bit late. Uh, I'd like to ask if you interviewed with the Knicks and how did it go, if ever? I'm sorry. Say that one more time. You cut out a little bit. Uh, I'd like to ask if you have interviewed with the Knicks and how how did it go, if ever you interviewed with them? I did interview with them. Um, I thought it went well, you know. Um, it was super, uh, super good vibes in there. Um, you know, I love to, I got to meet the front office, the coaching staff and stuff like that. So it was super dope, super dope. I, uh, I think I did good. Thank you. Could I ask the same question about uh, the Warriors? Uh, if you met with them, I know they're kind of close to you, um, you know, when you were at college. Uh, have you interviewed with them? Yes, I did. I was uh, that was the last interview I just did before this meeting. How did that one go? Uh, yeah, how'd that one go? It went super well. Like I said, um, a lot of the teams, man, they've just um, been really good at just breaking the ice, you know, showing comfort, showing love. Um, you know, uh, the Warriors, their front office was there. Steve Kerr was there. Um, they were. I just got a great feel from them. So um, you know, that'll be a cool spot to be at for sure. You you know them a little bit. I'm sure you 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 watched them because you were so nearby. They're kind of a unique situation where they're you know they're trying to win next season. Um, do you feel like you could kind of step in and and obviously be a developmental project, but also help like right away? Absolutely, without a doubt. You know, like even like I look at guys like Michael Bridges, for example, who are always just cutting, you know, moving, staying in the corners, spotting up for threes, just doing all the simple stuff, you know. And I know right away I'm not going to have the biggest load on me, um, like as far as like coming off screens and ball handling and all that. But um, I know I'm developing to become to that player. So I'm just like I said, my rookie year, I'm just trying to take it one day at a time, just trust the coaching staff and um, I'm just going to be fully invested, man. I'm, uh, I'm all in. So whatever they want me to do, I'm going to do all that and more. Hi, Adam. Yeah, hi. Sorry, I'm good. I was going to ask about the Knicks, but Zaire answered that. So good luck, Zaire. Thanks. Appreciate you, Adam. Hey, man, I'm Chase Hughes from NBC Sports. I, I cover the Wizards. Are they one of the teams you talk to because you, you're in there and kind of fit what they need? I Actually, yes. I just talked to the Wizards today as well. And how did that one go? It went super well, you know, um, 
I think I did good. Um, you know, I tried to just be me in the interviews, be myself. Um, but it was good vibes um, in that room for sure. I got a good feel for them, and um, I could potentially be a, a landing spot for sure. So, like I said, I just want to go to a team that's going to be fully invested and that's going to believe in me and that it's just going to, you know, just allow me and give me the tools and the stepping stones to, to become the player I believe I could be. Have you talked with the Oklahoma City Thunder? I have not talked with Oklahoma City. Oh, great. Thank you. That's my first workout. Everybody. All right, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.